Hey, 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 welcome back to the Virgo channel. My name is Laura. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to do a general message for Virgo. Know that energy is fluid. Rules could be reversed. Interpret the message as it best resonates with you. Also know on this channel, I like to dive deep into the readings. So I do look at everything, but we take more time to look at the spiritual blocks, the shadows, and we see how they play out as karmic themes. This will help you understand how you're contributing to the imbalances within your situation, how you can shape shift your situation to quantum leap into a reality that you want to experience because there's many different realities that play out at one time. Your level of consciousness is going to determine your behaviorism to your habits. And that's how we create karma. Now, we tend to associate karma with bad, but as I just said, there's many different realities that play out at one time. So when you pull in a soulmate, a twin flame or a past karmic mate, and they're really in balance, then you know when they're in balance, they're, they're ghosting you, they're gaslighting you, they're doing a lot of things to undermine you, to disrespect you. A lot of times they don't even realize that that's what they're doing, but they're just selfish, right? So a person that's very selfish is very imbalanced because we're not down here to be selfish. We're down here to be the expression of unconditional love by becoming what we love, by giving and receiving of love. But when a person has a lot of spiritual blocks, as I said, they get in their own way. They have a lot of psychological reversals. So this is why we always want to do shadow readings because what a person shows us is not really how they feel that they're not coming from their true self their higher self they've created an illusion a persona to make you perceive usually it's a person that's acting like they don't care but they really do they're just not emotionally intelligent all right. Now, if you want to enter into winning a free reading with me, you got to like the video, subscribe to the channel, write the word in the video in your comment bar. I want to thank you guys for all your likes, shares, subscribes, um, your word in the video, and all your nice prayers for me since, you know, it's been a turbulent past couple of months. You know, I'm starting to come out of it. Um, but... We're not 100% there yet. So thank you all for your patience. All right, let's see what the word of the video is. All right, the word of the video is always the underlining energy that tells me why everyone's doing what they're doing. Grief. Hmm. You know, I feel like you're connected to somebody that is not just like in grief because of you, but their entire life. They're going through like a an ego death. So this person is just not happy straight across the board. So you're probably not feeling any energy off of them at all because I don't really feel like they're in their body. I feel like they're in their mind. Like they keep on ruminating on what happened, what did happen, what could have happened. And with everything, you are in there, but you are just one, one aspect of this person's life that went down the shitter due to their, I feel like their attitude, their big fat ego, their persona that they wanted to create, the illusions that they created. I feel like this person lived way beyond their means. I feel like they present a false like advertising about themselves to people. And so when you continually wear a mask, nothing is strong. Nothing's built on a strong foundation, right? Because again, you can't be your persona. You can't really emulate someone forever. You know, eventually someone's going to see. And I feel like, just everything gave way in this person's life. I feel like their job, the connection with you, this person might have even been married. That's coming, that like that's ended. 
um, just every aspect of this person's life. Picture like a house of cards and like everything is just tumbling down. Every single card is down on the ground that you spent 50 years creating a business, gone. You spent 20 years saving for a house, building a house, now gone. Everything is gone from this person. So they're in a place of grief because they, yes, when they look at you, you're not even around. Because I believe that this person invested in someone else and they chose the wrong person. So they're, they, they got screwed for picking that person on top of it. So not only did they gamble the relationship away that they had with you instead they chose to be with somebody else or go back with a karmic is what i'm feeling but that karmic like rammed it up them like really screwed them like really fucked this person every which way that they could and i feel like your person like didn't really have feelings for that person that karmic anymore however they did build time together. And I'm feeling like this, that your person is almost like in denial that this person could have done such a thing because this person sacrificed so much. They gave so much. They love so much. And that's really what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like your person is connected to somebody else. And that somebody else like got sick and tired of not being respected, of not never getting anything in return, of being like a placeholder, pretty much, but being a maid and everything else. A maid, uh, uh, they have kids, you know, some of you guys have kids, like just a chauffeur, everything except for a, a wife or a husband. This person had to be, and they just got fed up. And that's why it's like a house of cards. Because your person chose to go back with somebody that deliberately set up a trap so that they could, again, really screw them, really screw them so that they would have nothing, so that they would be poor. And your person is looking at you, and I feel like they're enjoying your life. They, again, see that you're going to do well. They think that they would enjoy your life is what I'm trying to say. Like they would have that they could, can clearly see that your life is going to be good because you have friends, you're grounded, you have your own business, you have, you know, if you don't have your own business, you, you know, you have your shit together. Now, I know that that was a lot from grief, but. I'm feeling a few different things about this person. I'm feeling like, again, it's like a house of cards. Everything in this person's life is just, so it's not just one thing, though it kind of benefits you too, because this person didn't treat you well. They were an ass, but they were an ass to everybody, not just you. Okay, so let's get into the story and see. So again, your person, you you got tired of this person being like angry. They were always angry. They weren't happy with the karmic. They weren't happy working the amount of hours that they were working. They weren't happy with not having control over their life. Then whatever you asked for, which was very small, this person got triggered. So you got tired of this person being angry all the time. And being really ruled by their emotions. So this person was very reactionary. So they're connected to a karmic that's treating them like shit. You ask them something. They get triggered. They treat you bad. And that's the thing. It's almost like your person tried to fix it with somebody else. They went back to somebody else and they tried to fix it with someone else. And it was like that karmic was like they they just snapped and they snapped because, like I said, it's like it was they gave everything. They gave it their all like it should have worked. It should have worked. But your person held back. They held back. And I feel like it's because they had feelings for you. They didn't know whether or not Virgo they wanted to stay 
in what's comfortable, stay connected to the money, stay connected to the facade, or venture out and be in a single relationship, you know, in, in, a, in a monogamous relationship, because this person is not in a monogamous relationship with that karmic. That's why that karmic is pissed off. They're pissed off because they feel like they're giving everything and they're not getting anything in return. Someone's just, someone's just taking advantage. And, and your person, I hate to say it, is. It's like they're waiting for that karmic to dump them. And like that where they're excessive, they're overstating, like I'm deliberately not going to give you anything, do anything, I'm going to hold back. And your person is like, just tired. So no matter what your person does now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This person's not even grounded in reality anymore because that's what happens when you take it and you take it and you take it and you take it and you take it. So it's almost like the karmic is being ruled by anger now. Really, because everything that they tried to do didn't work and they see they're being used. They see they're being taken advantage of. And now it's almost like your person doesn't know what to do. The karmic doesn't know what to do. I feel like Virgo, you're the only person that knows what to do. And that's to detach from this person because they're still wrapped up in that karmic. They're playing games. They don't want to make a decision. Why don't they want to make a decision? I want to know why they don't want to make a decision because it's like they're not and and they're not considering you at all it's like this person is wrapped up in that karmic but then they're not giving that karmic anything anything because they don't feel well they don't feel well they they feel like again they're already getting sick they uh, again know if they're the ones that that leaves it's really going to be unpleasant for them it's going to turn into a major crisis for them it's going to cause them a lot of pain that's why that's the consequence now they may not say that but that's the truth of the matter they're trying to lessen the consequences but that they're stupid because that karmic is ready to blow they're angry they're over it they're they're the ones being ruled by anger right now Yeah, because again, they've assessed everything and they see things from a different perspective, that karmic. So I feel like at one time they thought that they won. Karmic was like, I won, I always win. And what they see is they didn't win. That your person doesn't have the resources to leave because they took the resources away. They have full control over this person and this person is still holding back from them. So they're so frustrated. They're so angry because they're like, why are you here? And really what it is, is that your person doesn't have the money. They don't have the money. You know, and what the karmic sees is that your person's two-faced. Again, playing playing two, two sides to the coin. And that they have many options. So the karmic doesn't feel confident. They don't feel confident. Because even though they've destroyed this person's life. And has full control over this person's finances. They know that that your person is going to access their free will you know they're going to they're going to do what they want because they've already tried everything to manipulate this person and your person's not budging so even though they're there they're almost like not there they're physically there they're eating the food the karmic's food they're sleeping at the karmic's they everything is the karmic's now but that's because the karmic took everything. So your person doesn't have anything. So there's also a sense of, I think that your person doesn't really know what to do because 
they never expected the karmic to hold out this long. This karmic did everything to try and hold this connection together. Like it was over a long time ago. And that karmic did everything to put obstacles in your person's way to, uh, to you know, stay away from you. But the problem is it backfired because your person doesn't like to be suffocated. They want to access their own free will. They want to be able to choose. They don't want to be controlled. The karmic's controlling. So this is what's making that your person run right into your arms. And the karmic doesn't even realize it because they're controlled by anger. Yeah, it's like your person that you can doesn't leave because of a lack of resources, right? Lack of resources. And I feel like they're just starting to get their physical health back in order. I think that the, what they've gone through with this karmic has been really toxic because that karmic has tried to control them every which way that they ha can. So, you know, it's they're trying to also save their money, become a little bit more abundant. So it's almost like your person doesn't feel like they can come towards you now because they don't really even have enough money. Right. They need resources. They need they need. Um, can't come to you empty handed after like playing, making the wrong choice. They clearly know what it looks like, but I feel like this person hopes that if they can explain about their finances, you know, that you will um, that you'll have some kindness on them that they they hope they hope that you'll have the spiritual insight to understand what's really happening, what really happened, that you still find them valued because they find you valued. You know, this is, they want to create with you. They, they feel, they feel, um, they feel like you guys would make a good team. Whatever you're doing, they feel like they could help you and collaborate with it. So they have a vision in their mind because, again, this person lost everything. They're coming with nothing. Maybe like the shirt on their back, maybe like a little like stick with a little handkerchief. <laughs> you know, like, like. When you see the fool in the tarot card, like that's what they're, they'll be coming with because they don't have anything because the karmic took it all away. So this person, you know, sees that, you know, you guys could be a good team, that, that you were kind to begin with, that you're more on this person's level. This person has been stuck to that karmic and... They have dummied down for so long where the karma didn't care. They were like, I don't care. Like if you cheat, I don't care whether or not you drink so much. I don't care what you do, you know, but you're not leaving. So as long as you don't leave, I'm okay with it. And I feel like your person finally just got to the place where they're like, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to live without love. And the karmic is like green. It's like green with envy. They're so angry. Yeah, this person like is, is like wants them to know that they're sincere, that they feel like you two are would be like kindred spirits, that they want you to trust them. They want to give loyalty to you, okay? I mean, they feel like you're a family. They feel like your family more than the karmic. And it's possibly just because there's a very strong spiritual connection. Now, I think that you viewed this person, again, as if they had all their shit together. They did because, again, 
they were at one time with this karmic that had everything. But I feel as if your person was the per person that acquired all that stuff. Like they worked for, for it. It's not like the karmic like went out, worked and did everything and, and accumulated all that money themselves. No, they helped build a family or they helped with maintaining this person while the, your person built their their business or again accumulated their money but it's because this person has done nothing but cheat and the and if that was even okay it's because your person continually held holds back it's like you're not giving me I want a real marriage. I don't want to be the karmic. The karmic's like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of looking like an asshole. You go around, like, sleeping with other people. And your person's like, I don't have feelings for you. But they, again, I think, have never really 100% been honest. Have they been honest? I feel like this person like really did try, try to like make it work for a while. And then what happened is, is that they drink, they, they drink in order, they alcohol in order to deal. So it's like this person avoids, your person avoids. It's like, I feel like they don't have the heart to tell the karmic everything because the karmic has held this connection together for so long. And then the karmic guilts, manipulates, is like, how dare you? Everything I do for you, you're so selfish. And if there's kids, forget it. So it's almost like karmic knows damn well that your person does not want to be with them. They don't care. They also know that your person has somebody. They don't know who, but they know somebody. And I feel like that's why they have put every obstacle in your person's way. Now your person's also stupid because they're not leaving, but they're not leaving because they are afraid of consequences. That's what it looks like. They're like in grief because it's like, you own everything. I don't have a life. Now I have money, but I don't have a life where before they gave you up to stay with the money because they didn't want to give up their comfortability. They knew that it was going to be really painful. They knew that the karmic is going to create a lot of shit for them. So they kind of held back from you, tried to make it work with the karmic. It doesn't work with the karmic because the karmic wants to have a real relationship where your person was like, no, I want to go back to the way that things were where I'm going to still hold back from you. There's not going to be any intimacy, but I'm still going to live here. I'm going to eat your food and, again, use your resources. That's why the karmic's pissed. Karmic is like, it realizes that they did not win. What they did, again, was they controlled. So there's a shit show going on over there. So you need to ask yourself, okay, what does this person feel about you? Because what we saw was that they like your life. I channeled that. They're watching you on social media, I feel like. Our mission is to be unconditional love. Clearing our programs is a necessary part of opening our hearts. So this person feels like, again, you're a soulmate. Again, that they're connected to you. Again, I would say the twin flame soulmate connection is all about unconditional love, learning what unconditional love is. What we see here is that this person that you're connected to never really had a strong foundation, very codependent attachment type of relationship. Tend to be the avoidance style attachment and is with the anxious attachment. And your person is like looking for a way out. They thought that it was going to be easy. I thought that uh, it was only going to be temporary that they were going to stay there. You are my true love, my heart, and my soul. And that's, again, twin flame. See, I think that if this relationship wasn't a twin flame, 
your person wouldn't even be thinking about leaving because this karmic has uh, done everything and everything and everything and everything. That's why they're pissed. That's why they're angry. So they're like, it should have worked. Everything should have worked because they didn't just manipulate. They pulled in every stop that they could, every obstacle that they could, and your person still is not letting go of you. So that's why they're green with envy. They're so angry. They're just so angry. When I look into your eyes, I see the universe and it activates me. And so again, this person like feels alive. Feels like, again, like gets excited. It feels like love, right? When you meet a person and they have butterflies and you get nervous and you care. This person hasn't felt that in a long time. They've, you know, been living compartmentalized. Yes, hooking up with people that they find attractive, but not like this. I miss you. Let's both stop running away. Now I feel like you're like holding back because of the karma. So not really even because of what this person's done 100%, because I kind of feel like you guys knew or had an idea. I feel our energy merging together as if it has a life of its own. Girl, again, they feel like they're going to just come back to you. It's like, because they're like, every time I try to walk away, I've tried to end this. I've tried. It would be so much easier to stay with the karmic. They've tried to, they can't. And it's because it's it's outgrown. It's old. The connection is old. Your person's dummy down for a long time. Connections can't stay together just because of money and because of what it looks like. It's not built on truth, which the universe only runs on truth. We can only fake it or live in balance for a certain amount of time before we get sick. Which this person has already gotten sick. They're like, I don't leave because of my physical health. Like I'm just starting to recover and I need to collect resources. This person's taken all my resources. So again, this is what's pissing the karmic off because they're like, they won't just give up. Your person just won't surrender. They won't give up. So there is a sense like, you know, now, this is a collective reading, but I'm going to pull one any one way to see what you feel right now about the situation. And some of you are going to say yes, some of you can say no, take it as it resonates because it's a collective reading. However, in this story, I'm trying to bury my love for you because I can't be with you. So I feel like you... Um, that that you are mirroring your person right now. You can't be with them, so all you're doing is working because you can't really be with them. Well, that's exactly what they're doing. They can't be with you right now because they're, so they're just working because they need resources. They also know on some level that they've ruined the connection. So they don't really think, and it's because you're not giving them anything. You're not giving them anything. So in this story, you bring out the best in me. I'm a better person because of you. I want to cherish you forever. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I'm mean, stupid. But I mean, I just want to see whether or not, you know, um, whether or not what, what, even though it's a collective reading. So I feel like you have feelings for this person. This person has feelings for you. The same. You guys are mirroring each other, even though you're pissed. You're pissed because you're like, you should have handled this better. And she has a right to be mad because you didn't treat her well. And you make me question uh, like things, but you still have that unconditional love for this person. And that's what they feel. And that's why they're like, I can fix that. With the karmic, it's not worth fixing. And it, it's not even fixing. Your per the, that karmic is excessive now. They're like, 
no matter what your person does, it wouldn't matter. It's like because they already took it to the extreme. They've held back. They've done everything. And they haven't given that karmic anything. They've just sat there on the fence and did nothing. Karmic was waiting for them to do something. You were waiting for them to do something. It's almost like your person was waiting for somebody to do something. But really, what they were doing was they were purposely holding back from the karmic, saying, I want the karmic to do it because it'll be easier if they do it. But that's not true. It's the illusion. Actually, I just felt it actually may be a little bit easier. I feel like your person will be able to leave easier once you're, that karmic finds out that they're dating, though, that's a whole other bag of nuts. That's a whole other bag of nuts. So I'm almost feeling like your person's like, I just need to get out. I just need to get out. I just need to figure out how to get out. I don't care what it is. And then as soon as I get out, I'm going to talk to you. Well, you need to, again, stay away from this person then because the karmic is going to be right there. If they don't end it, they're in the correct manner. Karmic's going to be pissed either way. Just know that. But there's a right way to do things and then there's a wrong way to do things. And karmically, this person likes to avoid situations. So then they're going to run to you. That's okay, but you know what? Not it, not until they say something to that karmic, like it's over. It's like it's really over. Like I'm gonna be dating. I'm going to do my life. Like they have to like state that because they have to lay appropriate boundaries. Otherwise, that karmic is gonna think that it's just a little separation because they've been in control and did everything and everything there. Nobody puts in this much effort and lets go that easy. In God's hands, my trust in life is implicit. God's greater knowing and greater source love guides my heart and my choices. My faith is steady and I remain true to my light. Everything unfolds according to God's will. So it's almost like this is a soulmate twin flame relationship. And the whole th the dynamic of these relationships is that you learn about unconditional love because you're getting a person that mirrors you. Now, that doesn't mean that they have the same behaviorisms as you. It means they have the same wounds as you the way that they deal with their wounds is going to be different than you. Why? Because a twin flame soulmate, we're talking about the opposites. We're talking about someone that's very logical and linear, opposed to someone that's very spiritual and like a free spirit. Someone that's very structured and organized and methodical and someone that again, just senses and is intuitive. Two totally different styles, two totally different ways to approach the world. So, Again, you're getting an opposite, but your person has the same wounds that you have. You're mirroring a lot of the same energies right now because at the basis of it, there is unconditional love. So it doesn't mean that you're not pissed off that this how this person handled it. It doesn't mean that this person doesn't see that they made a shit show out of everything because they did. It means that when you take off all that bullshit of outside interferences and you get to the real core, you have unconditional love. Like this person can control how they feel. You can't control the way that you feel. You live a soulmate twin flame connection when you have a lot of wounds, wounds around relationship trust that usually happened in your childhood so understand the soulmate twin flame relationship is not about controlling not at all it's about surrendering and it means that even when this person is triggering you if they don't treat you with respect it doesn't mean that you sit there and 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 
try and make it work or try and manipulate what this karmic is doing, it means exactly what you did. You would like, again, you were like, it's over. It's over. Like you're still dealing with somebody else. I can obviously feel you're with somebody else because they're not giving me the energy. You walked away. Your life is good. This person knows, can see again because they stalked that your life is going to be good. Their life isn't good. They chose the wrong avenue. They see it now. But they tried to control their life. They weren't letting the divine lead them. That's why they were like, let me go to the person that already has the money that I built up everything already. It's going to be easier now. And look, you're making money. You're, you're, your life is going to be good. They're like, I could do something with you. I can see now where they weren't willing to do that before. So what is Spirit saying? It's like, you always have to go back to unconditional love. Yes, you could say, well, now that you did that and you already chose that, well, but if you still have feelings, you're cutting your nose off to spite your face. And if it is a real soulmate twin flame relationship, it means that you can't help it that you're going to have to forgive. And, and again, now it doesn't mean that this person should, doesn't, won't have to work for it. But what Spirit's saying is, no, it's about learning to surrender. That's what the soulmate relationship is and freedom through faith. And really like person realizes it said what the most important thing is their freedom. I've calm my thoughts and rise above fear. I free myself of all the doubt. By entrusting my doubts to God, I have faith in God's perfect timing and placement. I trust his will and find freedom. So actually what spirit is also saying is everything's in divine order, even though you might be like, this person should have been there. The karmic put so many obstacles and we couldn't be together because of it. What spirit is saying is have faith in God's perfect timing and placement. Everything's in divine order. It's all in God's hands because it's a twin flame relationship. That's why this person feels like they're merging back to your energy. Doesn't mean that they realize that it's easy. No, this person's like, I'm trying to work all the time. So I don't think about you at all because I know that I fucked up this relationship. And that's what you're doing. But you know that you didn't mess up the relationship. You're like, you're not going to come back. I'm not coming back to you, but I'm going to keep my mind busy. So you guys are mirroring each other. So may yes, spirit, what are you supposed to learn? Like, why are you attracting this person into your life? Because you're a mirror of who comes into your life. You have to find that. Oh, I'm like, where are my inner child cards? Oh, here they are. I think I'm the messiest reader ever. Like, I if you look at my desk, you just see like cards just everywhere. Okay, let's see. Card one is truth. Play. Anchor. Abuse. Source and one more time and attention. I feel like there was a lack of grounding growing up. You know, um, when our parents are always working and they're stressed out, you know, they have, they're going through their own trauma. I feel like they couldn't give you the time and the attention made you very empathetic. I also believe that there was abuse, but I kind of feel like it was emotional and psychological, even though this girl looks like she was beaten up. Um, I feel like this was more psychological and emotional where um, parents are always in a bad mood. <laughs> well, well, some of you only had one parent. And when they were around it, like I said, they just didn't really have the time to give you the attention that you needed. And so made you uh, an impact. And why I say that is because truth, 
truth speakers, highly sensitive, again, connection to source, that those are gifts that you've always had. Your sensitivity is clairsentience and claircognience, which is, I don't know how I knew that, I just knew. And my sensitivity is what leads me. And I always had a good connection to source. This is you, what I feel like. So you were able to like, get away from this person, I want you to know, because they were kind of doing the same exact thing that, you know, happened when you were growing up. So it's not that they were deliberately trying to abuse you, but, you know, the other uh, karmic is the person that's causing all the problems and your person's kind of making you pay for it. And it's because they can feel that there's unconditional love. They feel safe with you. They don't feel safe with that karma, karmic. That karmic has already destroyed them. They're afraid that they're going to get destroyed even more. They can't even believe that this karmic is doing it because, like I said, they gave so much time, so much energy, so much everything. So they're just bugged out. And but it didn't matter because what you did was you detached and you played. You created yourself you connect with other people situations and i feel like that is is actually what lit a fire underneath your person's ass because they're like i'm gonna lose you you're like you're going out you're playing you're you're connecting to other people you're gonna meet somebody i find you a catch then I know everyone else is going to find you a catch too. And here I am holding back, thinking that the karmic was going to, you know, dump me a long time ago. They're sitting here like taking, uh, not, not doing it. This is like waited forever. The karmic's going to do it. They just really tried everything in their power not to do it. That's why they're so angry that they have to do it. And so your person was holding back to make it less consequences. What they got is the worst consequences because they played it this way. And they're in grief because they actually know on some level, you're going to meet somebody else. I'm not, I haven't been here for you. So they're afraid they're going to, they want to come back. This is what they think. But really they do have, you do have feelings for them. It did say, you, you know, you know that they're your twin. You have other options though. And that is what's scaring the shit out of your person. That's why they're going to come back. That's why spirit says, date, go out, get your mind off it. Don't pay attention to what this person is doing. They're coming back. They might take a little bit of time. They got to eat their karma because trust me, that karmic, karmic is going to make them eat shit. But you go out, have a good time. That'll be your twin's karma because like what to worry whether or not you're going to meet somebody else because this person was not they were not there for you you know but again this shows that you won't but nevertheless i feel like you need to do it and you need to do it because they didn't respect you even though that they were fearful they need to show you they need to be a little bit fearful of you too for respect reasons not because of oh i want you to be scared of me but because oh you were so comfortable to treat me like shit because you know i love you where you again not so sure about the karmic but you're giving everything to the karmic and you're holding it back and you're treating me like shit that's like that that behavior needs to go and it will go because this person again is going to be coming to you with nothing Except for, like I said, a stick and a handkerchief with maybe a shirt inside of the handkerchief. You know, whatever ego they had when you met them, they are not meeting the same person. That's the karmic made sure of that. So that's one good thing. They, are, they, they're, they have no more ego. All right, guys, I'm going to leave that there. You let me know how you resonated with this and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.